Okay, so here we are at the beginning of day two. We have taken a about a 10 minute hike out here to get to Lighthouse Point. Yeah, you can see the uh, the red rails there at the bottom and everything. That's where uh, Richie and Annie Devlin had their duel in season two, episode Eye for an Eye. It says authorized personnel only. Yeah, sadly, I think this is as close as we're going to be able to get to it. Unless we a, figure out a way to bribe him. Yeah, there's a couple of other <laughs> uh, uh, viewpoints that we're going to take while we're down here, but uh, this is our first view of the, of the day. Uh, looks like this place was a World War II outpost. Uh, we passed a whole bunch of really cool cabins and such on the way up here. But yeah, really cool area. We're going to be doing a little bit more exploring here. So, lighthouse is over there. This is basically the same view as before. Down here through the trees, you can see the dock with that uh, red thingy on it. This is where uh, Annie and Duncan drank wine and made love in that same episode. This may be as close as we can get to it, but uh, you can actually see that little red scaffolding thing in the scene where uh, Annie approaches Duncan. So that is totally it. And you can see the island, the shape of the island. If you move over here, you can see the the actual shape too. What, over here? Yeah, if you watch the skyline, the water line, and look over there, you can see where the island goes down, like in the, in the show. Okay, I don't know if I can get that on, oh, on film from here. I no. can see it right there where it goes down. Can see from over here? No, not really. Oh, yep. But it's there. I saw it. <laughs> so the place I just shot that footage is Point Atkinson. So, if you see these gates here, you're at the right place. This is basically at the end of the main trail. And you go down. Yep, there. down around the corner around the to where corner. this house that's is, where and that's where we just were. So up here, we've got all these monstrous houses, and I'm pretty sure these were uh, the houses that housed the World War II soldiers when they were down here. But yeah, there's like three or four of these, and they're, they're all really, really big. Oh, I'm guessing that it took quite a bit of work to uh, build houses in this area since it's kind of remote and the roads aren't exactly very wide. So uh, we're going to head down this trail over here and uh, see if we can find the other viewpoint. Okay, we've hiked a little bit further along the trail. And this area down here, I think, is where Richie and Annie had the end of their sword fight based on the rock formation. Uh, I'm gonna try and get down there. Not sure if we're gonna be able to. There's another section over here. So we might be able to get down there. Don't know yet. And then we've got this up above us. There's like a chimney sticking out of the top here for no apparent reason whatsoever. There's a bunch of rocks. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up there and check that out, but I'm gonna try. Shan Chan and I just climbed this hill. Huh? I got a pretty darn good Great. look at the lighthouse from up here and the scenery. Still haven't found a way to get down to the the rocks where Richie fought Annie, but we're working on it. Okay, so it was a bit of a climb, but we made it. Uh, you want to take the West Beach Trail and it will take you right out into this little cove over here. And then from that cove, with a little bit of work, you can climb the rocks and come out here. Well, there's another trail up there, too. Yeah, uh, we like may be able next. to get back that way, because there's a plaque up there, so I've assumed that people would be able to get out yeah, here fairly easily. Trail, that one is... But, uh, good. When West Beach Trail goes left, you'll take a little right, and I think that's that one. But they both go out down. You can just climb over that way from West Beach Trail, or you can take that one, I think. So yeah, this, I'm pretty sure right where we're standing is where Richie and Annie finished their duel, which is pretty freaking awesome. I recognize these formations over here from the show. But look at this view. Even if you're not a fan of the show, look at this. Look at this. Wow. It was worth the climb to get out here. 
Oh, oh, this is, oh, this is so cool. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I recognize that tree from the show. Uh, I think, I could be wrong, but I think in Season 5, Episode 1, Prophecy, uh, Duncan has a fight out here as well with... Nuts, I can't remember that guy's name right now. The guy who hypnotizes people. Cassandra's enemy. I'm totally blanking on his name. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. The episode is called Prophecy. I think that fight may have been filmed out here as well. Not entirely sure. I might have to look that up. But yeah, this is definitely from Eye for an Eye. Really awesome. So we just left the lighthouse and drove about four minutes around the corner. We're on our way to Michelle's house right now from Season 3, uh, Rite of Passage. And uh, I think this is Dale Avenue or something like that. Anyway, um, we were just driving by and got this spectacular view over here. So I thought I'd pull over really quick and share it. Uh, Michelle's house should be right around the corner from here. It should be within walking distance. And I'm guessing the docks where uh, Duncan fights Axel in that same episode should be right on the other side. So that's where we're headed. So I got the address for Michelle's house. However, the address was correct for the docks where Axel and Duncan fight. Uh, Axel's boat was parked right here and Duncan walks right down this path before the confrontation. Yeah, doesn't she like run up to him over there? Yep. And then Axel runs over here and, and the, the fight starts here where he's like, you cheated again, Axel. He's like, I don't need to cheat, Duncan. And then the fight carries them up this way, right up those stairs right there. And then along this railing and then that's where they fall into the water and Duncan has his quickening right here while Michelle watches from right there okay this is pretty cool jump in the water and I'll take a picture okay honey not happening <laughs> but we're definitely taking some photos here I mean check out the view got this awesome viewer on this side and over here Yeah, let's get some photos and then find Michelle's house. So, right around the corner from the docks we were just at, over there, is Michelle's house. Big and fancy. And looks pretty much exactly the way it did in the show 30 years ago. Almost 30 years ago. We're not going to go in, even though the owner just pulled in, we're not going to bother him. we got things to do and... None of the show was actually filmed inside the house anyway, but you can see the nice big front area there where Duncan was talking with the right parents. Right up that and stairway up next to the front door on that side is where he's talking to the dad. And Michelle comes down here, peels out yep. in her car. In her old beat up Camaro, it. yep. And then we never see the house again. <laughs> it's just in that opening scene and that's pretty much it. But yeah, pretty darn awesome. Okay, so we're at Big John's Outpost. This I is that side. Lower Seymour Conservation Reserve, if you're looking to find this building. Uh, this is out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this is uh, at the beginning of the episode of Mountain Men in Season 1. Uh, Shan Chan is affectionately referring to this building as the West Studio, because West Studi was the marshal in that particular episode. So, yeah, uh, the river should be near here that was used in several different episodes. And we're going to try and find that location next. So we spoke at, with a guide who was at the, uh, the Big John's location because we were trying to get to the Spur 7 River where there's a whole bunch of locations, or a whole, whole bunch of episodes that were filmed there, including uh, Cross of St. Antoine, uh, Mountain Men, Wrath of Kali, uh, a couple others too, I think. But anyway, 
uh, it looks like we will not be able to get to that location. Uh, we are right about here. And if you follow this white line all the way up here, this is Spur 7. And they are telling us it's about an 18 kilometer round trip, which is going to basically take all day. And we've got way too many locations that we want to visit to spend an entire day to get to one. So, uh, I have heard that on one of Andy's past visits here, he got a guide to take him and his team up there. Andy, if you're watching this, I hope that's the case again, because we really, really want to see that location. But we do not have the time to hike this whole thing. So, unfortunately, we will not be getting that location on this trip. Hopefully in the next one. Over there, that's Bears. So we're up here at the Mount Seymour Resort, trying to find Duncan's cabin. This is the Bears Den over here that's all the way at the end of the parking lot. You see the ski lift? This is the base of the ski lift right here. McLeod's cabin is right there. And I am being told this is close as we're going to be able to get to it, unfortunately. I would love to go up there and take some photos and uh, just kind of walk around the cabin. But all the employees here are telling me, no, it's closed, can't go back there, blah, 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 blah. So. Well, the whole area is closed off at the moment. The recreation area is all closed off to people right now. Yeah, not sure what's going, up on, going on up here, but basically the entire area is deserted other than employees. And it's so. all blocked off. Yeah. So, sadly, this is as good as we're going to be able to get. And, if you have a look a little, a little look around, it's freaking freezing up here. But, boy, is it beautiful. Man, oh, man. So, I'm going to try and get a, a couple of shots of the scenery real quick. And then we'll get out of here before Shan Shan freezes to death. So, this is the other side of the parking lot. Down the edge over here. This is just gorgeous. And you can hear a pin drop up here. It's just absolutely still. No wind, no nothing. But it's also only like, what, 36 degrees out right now? About 34. And earlier in our trip, it was 51. And that was just earlier today. And then we started climbing this hill, and that changed. <laughs> and then there's, there's the cabin through the trees right over there. Right there. All right, well, there's no point in hanging around here anymore if that's all we're going to get to see, so might as well get out of here and head to the next place. Uh, I would like to point out, I don't know how long the snow has been here, but the roads are completely cleared off. You'd never see this in Oregon. We get a half inch of snow and people panic. As you can see, we got plenty of snow out here, and it's very well taken care of. The roads were fine. Score another point for Canada. <laughs> All right, the wind's picked up a little bit. Uh, we're on our way back to the car to head over to Stanley Park, where uh, some scenes for Return of the Man of a, the Return of Amanda were filmed. But I just wanted to get this real quick. Another fantastic view. A little disappointed about the cabin, but I can't say I'm sorry we came up here. All right, just got to get one more shot before I leave. How freaking beautiful this is. So we just got to Stanley Park. This is probably going to be the last thing we get done today before the sun goes down. And we've just hit the first viewpoint over here. It's right out of the parking lot. Right there, you can see the uh, Sulfur. sulfur piles where Duncan and Grayson have their battle. I'm hoping to get a better shot of these later. We actually cannot go there because it's not open to the public, but uh, we're going to try and get a better shot than what we have here. This is the Lions Gate Bridge that goes across. We've already driven across this a couple times today. And we're going to try and get down to the base down here, which is where Duncan and Amanda get shot. But we haven't found a way to get down there yet. We're working on it. Then we get treated to this.
pretty amazing view out here. I think I can see the ski resort up there on the top of that hill. Can you? Oh, you think that's it? Yeah. I think that's where we were earlier. Okay, moving on. We got things to do and time. Okay, so we found a pretty darn good location. We're on this little beach here. This is where Duncan pulls Amanda out of the water after they get shot at the end of the Return of Amanda episode. So it's right there with Richie. Here's the, down steps the steps where Richie comes down these steps after he's done videotaping what happened. And the camera shot is from this direction with the bridge in the background. And, as promised, this is probably going to be the best shot of the sulfur piles that I'm able to get. So beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. That's a great shot. Pretty cool. This is this is pretty amazing right here. I'm yeah, I'm like stoked right, right now. Yeah, I believe so. This is great. So yeah, we're gonna walk down this path where that runner is going, and right around the corner there is where, where Duncan and Amanda get, shot. get yep. shot, and that's where we're heading next. So we're a little further away from the sulfur piles now. And right underneath, uh, I think this is called Lion's, Lion's Head Bridge or Lion's Gate Bridge. And right here is the area where Duncan and Amanda get shot by that shady FBI agent. Yeah, this bike path seems to go the majority of the way around Stanley Park. We've still got a whole bunch of... Uh, Stanley Park locations that we need to hit. Not sure if we're going to get all get to all of them today. If we don't, we will start here tomorrow. So that is the plan moving forward. Mm, cute, the little back squirrel. Oi. Oh, look at him. He's a chubby boy. No, they came in this color. Okay, so we're still in Stanley Park. We had to walk about a kilometer to get here. This is Kristen's photo shoot where uh, McLeod confronts Richie and tells him he's being an idiot. That happened in many episodes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see this very distinct rock formation over here. And the bench that was over here when uh, McLeod and Richie are conversing. Halfway going up and mm -hmm. around the spot on the side. It looks like this area over here has been changed a little bit. Um, there doesn't seem to be these couple of trees here in the shots from the show. Or this railing over here. So I think these may have been added over the last 30 years or so. I think this was a bit more of a, a slope before, just based on the screenshots that we're seeing. But yeah, right here is the photo shoot. And uh, McLeod comes from over there, down that hill, and into, into the screen, and then walks this way to talk to Richie. And then the pro oh, yeah, and those buildings in the background, you can see these buildings in the background in that shot as well. 
Plus, if you turn around, there's also another shot this way as well for the photo shoot. Looking this way. This one. That's, don't look at the camera. Just I was looking at the phone, trying to. This is turning the other way, see? Yep, right there, yep. There's the shot, and you can see those rocks right mm -hmm. there. Bam. All right, so this might be our last uh, location for the day. But uh, this should be the beach where uh, Kristen meets her end. And Mythos gets yeah. his quickening. She gets in a fight with Duncan. Duncan doesn't have it in him to kill her, and so Mythos comes in and kicks her butt and then beheads her. As only Mythos could do. So, just for location reference, over there was the photo shoot. And uh, Shan Chan and I walked all the way down that, uh, that bike path that goes right along the water. So there's the photo shoot. And here's the... Uh, the night fight and where Kristen croaks. So since uh, we weren't able to make it to all the locations tonight we're going to be coming back to Stanley Park tomorrow and starting our, our adventure from here. So Shan Chan was hungry so we decided to stop at the Blarney Stone for something to eat. Supposedly, this is the pub that was used for Season 4, Episode 1, Homeland. Not sure how much of the bar is going to be left in there, but uh, we're going to go check it out. Alright, we're inside the Blarney Stone, and it has changed a lot. Um, the place is barely recognizable. Uh, this is the bar that Rachel was working at. You can see the staircase in the background there. Uh, that is visible in many of the screenshots. You got the front windows here. All of them have been redone. They used to be, uh, the, they used to have the crosses in them. This whole area, uh, Duncan and Joe were sitting so here, like right here. Uh, having a drink during their conversation. There's railing, like right yeah, here. Yeah, and there was a rail that came through here. And then you can see Rachel walk in the door, the front the door, over there. Okay, so we're back outside of Blarney's. They got a little upset with me filming in there. They said it's against their company policy. So I'm going to shoot a little bit from inside the outside the, the door here. Uh, based on what we saw in there, the entire scenes from the episode were uh, filmed right in front of the store here. So you can see the very front of the section here. We found the spot where uh, the sword was. We got a photo of it, and that will be included in the video. But it's the sword, sure. the sword was hanging right here on the wall. In fact, the nail that was that was uh, holding up the box up is still there. You see the mark so, from it. Yeah, this is the place. It's changed a ton. The uh, they, they've completely expanded. remodeled it, expanded the bar, the whole shebang. But uh, yeah, that's Blarney's, right next to Blood Alley Square. If you want to, uh, if you want to visit it.